loves, we are going to talk about how to work with La Madonna. So the first thing you have to ask is, who is La Madonna? Oh, she is a group of spirits. She is the spirit of a slave. She was the house mother, a uh, big mama. She's a conjure woman. She was a root worker. Um, and she is the patron of readers and root workers. I call her the root worker's root worker. Um, the image of Aunt Jemima is what is usually used to portray her. As you can see, you will find her in the red and white. Sometimes she'll be in yellow and white or blue and white. I have her here in all white. Um, and these are my uh, personal Madama statues, so you'll see um the jewelry and embellishments that she has on um you'll see those different combination of colors you'll also find those combination of colors um in her candle you can use a red candle you can use um you will see a pink green and red candle that you will you can find for her um but for today i'm going to use a yellow candle now some of the tools that is used to work with Madama, some of her tools, um, and I'm just going to show you here, is her broom. She has a broom in her hand, but I got her another broom. So she has her broom, and this is used to sweep away cross conditions, to uh, sweep trouble away. And then she has her knife to nail down your enemies. She has her pot where she lives inside her pot and she does all of her work here and as you can see her pot has been blessed and cleansed and it's ready for her to go inside and she has her own deck of playing cards she is a reader she will help you to read clearer <clears throat> so she needs her own deck of playing cards and you can use this deck to read for clients read for yourself I've also found that um, She reads Tarot cards as well Now when you get your Madama You want to cleanse her and bless her and welcome her into your home and your space and she likes to be in the kitchen she, of course, like I said, she was the big mama. She had keys. She read the Bible. She did all the cooking and cleaning. She ran the whole house. So she likes to be in the kitchen. That's her, that's her main place. And she works from right here inside her pot. And so when you, when you get her, you want to, want to anoint her with oils. Just all the way inside her basket. And this is some La Madama oil that I made from some of her favorite herbs that she likes to work with. Blue flag. She likes roses. These are just a few of the herbs that she likes to work with. And so I made her some oil. And you want to you wanna pray with her. Job 42 and 14. This is where Job calls her name Jemima. And he blesses her hands with all her work through the power that God gave him. Okay, so after you have oiled her up and you have blessed her, you put her gifts, her offerings in her basket. Now, all of her offerings won't fit, but... We're going to put some of her favorite herbs right down here in the bottom. I've got some star anise, some roses, blue flag, some cinnamon, and then we're going to add the rest of her offerings that I have here. She loves cigarettes, and I'll show you how you use these. She loves fresh flowers, and I have African money for her. Put money in for her. 
and more flowers. There's this candy here. Let's try not to drop it off. And as you can see, she already has her keys attached to her. She has her cross with her. And so I'm gonna put her right down in here. And before I do, I wanna sh show you guys. So I cleaned her pot and I blessed it just like I did with the oil inside the pot. And I wanted to show this one thing right here. So this is dirt from the four corners of my home. And I'm gonna put a little bit of it on the four crosses inside the pot that are the four little crosses that are on the big cross inside my pot and this dirt is just welcoming her into my home giving her dominion here which means that she will continue to protect me and my children here in our home and then i'll put her down here inside the pot and then i put the rest of her tools in her pot and I have a mirror here that I sit behind her to aid her her broom she does all of her work inside this pot this is her fortress and this is where she likes to get her work done right here inside the pot and then, of course, I, once you get to know your Madama and you begin to work with her more, you'll get to realize who she is and what she likes personally. And before I did the video, I took her stuff down and I had it up. Mama Dama loves jewelry, and as you can see, she has quite a bit of it. This is my, my smaller one, and she too as well has quite a bit of jewelry. Okay. So now that we've done that, we've put her inside her pot. You've blessed her. You want to put your offerings, your other offerings, her glass of water a glass of apple juice now it could be something else it does not have to be apple juice it could be coffee i do coffee regularly or wine she likes whiskey so be sure to give them what they ask for her candle which is going to go here inside the pot now i dress the candle with her oils and herbs i wrote my petition on the candle i have it here and I'll show you on brown paper, you write out your, your petition and you fold it to you going clockwise. And before you start, you wanna make sure that you speak your petition over the candle before you light it. And I also have this is more for her. She likes brown sugar. This is cornbread and molasses. So we're just going to put this out just like this. The cornbread with the brown sugar and the molasses right here on top. And we'll put that out. All of my offerings are here in the basket. My candle. I'll ring my bell three times i'll pray my petition again light my candles pray again and she will work very fast for you normally you can pray your petition and i've seen her answer your petition in two days she's great for money work to get your bills paid she's great for love work to help you see clearly with her keys, she can open your roads and open doors. So she's great for all types of work. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video today and we'll get with you later. Bye-bye.